Hi, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we are going to repair this Vivo 44 watt flash charge. It's totally dead. No voltage on the output. I will show you by this USB tester. Here's the charger. As you can see that there is no output voltage. But the switch is on. No voltage. So we have to open it first. I have opened this charger and it's totally bursted or melted. You can see that. All the caps are gone. This is the annoying glue. I have to remove some of this annoying glue. And uh, so let's try to fix it. First of all, remove this plastic casing. I think it's also damaged from bottom. So first of all, check the fuse. Here's the fuse. Fuse is okay. So let's check the rectifier diodes. These are also okay. So that's the other one, this diode. This one is also okay, not giving any beep sound. As I have noticed, this resistor is also damaged. I think I have damaged the resistor while opening the uh, mobile case. It's reading is 470. That's 47 ohm resistor. So, first of all, we have to replace all these gaps. So, let's go for it. You have to first clean this type of circuit with isopropyl alcohol. I forgot to tell that there was also a resistor here, but it was its code was burned. It was totally black, so I don't know which resistor you know, should to place here, as it's coming from the inductor and going to the negative of these uh, main capacitors. It's connected to one side of the inductor. As you can see, that there is also an inductor. Here the resistor is attached 112. It's 1.1k resistor. I I have to guess this resistor value. So I am going for higher about 2k or 3.3k. So first of all, remove all these bad capacitors and further check will it work or not. So first of all, remove all the bad components. I have removed the master capacitors and notice that there is an inductor inside here. It's also damaged. So we have to replace it also. The three default capacitors were of 12 UF, 3 12 UF and 1 8.2 UF. I'm not having these. So I'm using 10 microfarad for another word instead of 12 UF and 16.8 UF 400 volts instead of uh, uh, 8.2 microfarad so let's replace these and uh, also the 470 ohm resistor which is damaged from here and uh, i'm using 3.3k for here which is damaged so it's a guess we have to place the resistor one by one and check if it's working or not and also at the end hey there is the inductor which was damaged so I have to find that I'm having inductor or not so yes here's the inductor it's like resistor so let's replace all these components and let's see it will it work or not because these chargers are almost impossible to repair in these conditions company don't want to don't want anyone to repair them but i am 
going to repair it. All brand new capacitors are replaced. Let's solder them and they had not move. Let's move forward towards replacing these two resistors. Uh, yes, also the inductor is also replaced. Now all the components are replaced, everything done. Now at last clean the circuit and we'll test the, for the final time. Let's connect it to the series board and check the output voltage. Don't touch the circuit with bare hands. See that it's connected. Let's measure all the voltages. First of all, at the output. If it reads 5 volts, then it's okay. Oh, yes, the charger is now fixed. Output voltage 5 volts. Let me show you by connected, connecting it to the USB tester. Here's the USB tester. First of all, remove. Then connect the USB tester. What? Yes, they, there's a stored voltage on the caps. That's why the USB tester is on. Let's put some load and try to charge something. The charger re voltage reads on the USB tester is 5.06 okay now connect it to this small power bank yes as you can see that it's drawing almost 0 0.8 amps because the battery will almost 90% charge so basically it was a 44 watt flash charger original vivo charger so we have repaired this if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section please like share and subscribe